care. This is our intensive care. Uh, these are all um, in less than 24 hours or ones that have been in a little bit longer that require heat or have problems feeding or are really grossly underweight and not doing particularly well. Some examples. This is little Tiny. Oh, look at you, little one. And he's been in for a week. He came in with his umbilical cord still attached, but he was a little preemie. And he's being fed every two hours, 24 hours a day, as is his little friend here. Mm -hmm. So he's got a friend in there. And we keep this one a little bit hotter. We keep this one at 29, and that's barely keeping him warm. Uh, we've got 41 babies here at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, and down the back, I think we've got about 80 adult flying foxes and um, we've just lost six that have gone to St Carers which is great mm -hmm. and there's one another spare going to Sydney so we're down nine so that brings us back to what 32 bats to be fed at least every four hours. Whew. Some on two hourly feeds. This little one here is in a cage by himself. He's got a problem with his eyes, so we're having him assessed at the end of the week. Mm -hmm. um, some of these, like this little guy, um, need a little bit extra care, so he's by himself. He's getting a dripper and he's got fruit, but he's still on a bottle. Mm -hmm. That one's we've just taken our bat yes, out. That's going free. to that's Sydney. With me. These have all been put to bed. They've had a bottle. And it... Look at the eyes. Sweethearts. These are dripper feds. Mm -hmm. uh, more dripper feds. Uh, they're bottle feds. Look at you, little one. Look at you, tiny little characters. Yeah. Puny bottles. And uh, the ones behind belong to Janine, so she keeps them separate. Mm -hmm. So rainbows in here. Yes, rainbows in there. Mm -hmm. This little one here that I've said um, it's got eye problems, he's in Hampton House, which is a halfway house. So he's just come out of the humidity crib. And he's in the halfway house. Yes, he's in the halfway house. And he's checked on, he's on medication, he's on pain relief. But we think he'll be all right. He's a real little guts and he's putting on weight. And he's somewhere underneath all that. He's right there. Oh, there he is at the back. I he see. usually hangs on that pink thing. He rides it like a, mm -hmm. like a jockey. Okay, who's this? This is Wara, aka Emma. She came from Camberwara. She was found alone in a lemon tree, a very spiky lemon tree, mm. and she'd been there for three days. She's 78 days old, and she's minus 71 grams. So That's she's, huge. She's really underweight. Really skinny. I think she's having a bad hair day. I I fruit so juice too. doesn't make very good shampoo. Neither does afraid. yogurt, and that's, that's what it. she's being fed: yogurt mm. and fruit. And milk. And milk in milk. the dripper bottles? Yes. Mm. And this is her second day out here away from the heat. Mm -hmm. And she's got real attitude. If you open the cage door, she'll have a go at you. Oh. In a very spicy lemon tree. She's feisty. Yes. So she'll be right. Okay. We got Hello. Okay. These are all net caught and barbed wire caught over the last week. So they're starving and so they're going to backyard fruit trees. Yes, and um, there were five of them in an apple tree where the apples were barely apples. You could just make them out as apples. They were green. There was one dead one, one mum with a baby and four live ones. Mm -hmm. um, there's some barbed wire ones here as well. Mm -hmm. And this is their quarantine area before they move into their hospital aviary where they get a bit more room. We were so, um, we had so many come in um, within three days. And our sweetheart, look at you. Look at you. Some more here. We've already banded and moved some onto the hospital Avery's. Um, and we're just doing that slow time as we. So these are all netting or barbed wire? That's right, yeah. And all in within the last week. And how many have we got? I think we've had about 25 in in the last week mm -hmm. and they're the ones that are actually um, up here. Mm -hmm. We've still got some out with our carers. This is our little hospital Avery and they come from in the clinic in here. 
These are all nest and barbed wire within the last week. I think they're hiding behind the blankets. Um, we've banded them because they look like they're going to be releasable. There's some pregnant mums and there's some mums with babies that they're hiding behind them. Okay, a bit stressed. Yeah. Okay. Poppies come down from the main flight to keep these ones company.